Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's now fishing a new mark. I've been waiting to fish here for a few years now. I've never got round to it. It's out down the road, it's in uh, West Farrock Grays. So it's not far from Procter and Gamble's, which is just behind me there. You've got the uh, petrol jetties or the gas jetties there. So I popped out of fields last night, picked up my lugworm. I've come straight from work this morning. It's now just gone seven. I size at 11. Uh, probably got about half hour yet till I'll be, till I'll be fishing. So I've, I've done a bit of homework. I've had a look on Google Earth. Uh, there's, a, there's a gully to me right hand side, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's fresh water it's pumping out or if it's sewage. I don't think it's sewage because we haven't had no rain for, a, for about a week now. So I'll give it, I'll give it, wait till the tide gets in, get me rods out. So now I'm going to be fishing with two uh, flappers, size four hooks, just like the scratching rigs. I'm not really targeting anything in particular, I just want to want to catch a fish. So I've got size fours, lugworm, that's all I've got with me today. I've got plenty of lugworm, I've got about six packs, so I'm going to be putting quite a bit on, give myself nice little baits. Well, I'll get back to you when I've got both rods in the water. Right, well, that's both rods in the water now. That wind seems to be picking up a little bit. It was uh, forecasting 12 to 25 mile an hour gusts, and uh, it's, it's, it feels like it's playing 25 all the time. So it's nice and bright. Clear skies, both rods are out. I'll sit out and give it a while. Reeled in the first cast, still had a bit of bait left on there, no bites or anything. But this wind's getting stronger and stronger. It's uh, it's probably worse than it was a couple of weeks ago down Seaford. Uh, I've just chucked them both my rods now over towards the jetty. I'll just turn around and show you. So I've got both rods out in that direction. One's probably on the edge of that gully that I showed you earlier, and the other one's a little bit further down. Cast the other one just swallows that orange knife belt right now. You can see. And then I've got one. Probably in line with that boat from where I'm sitting. Right, well that's both me both me hooks baited up. As you can see I'm not fishing them to down or anything today. I'm literally only fishing. 30 40 yards over towards that jetty, so I don't want to, I don't need to clip it down the cars that far. Right, I'll just show you my uh my hook lengths. So I've got a size four hook on and I'm fishing no beads, the only bead I've got on there is the black one there, and that is just to act as a, a bait shield. So I've got my little row of bait stop there, and the bead is just to stop the bait going over the top of that. So on there I'll put I'll put two lugworm. That's two. You see that that bead will just stop the worms going up over that that uh, bait stop. I fish two baits like that. Right, well I've had about half a dozen casts now. Uh, not had a bite. It is really, really windy. Uh, I've just changed where I've been casting as well. I've got one cast along the side of the jetty still but I put one out more in front of me. Uh, there, there was a bit of rough ground out there, there was a lot of weed. So rough. No, I mean, there's a little bit of weed out, a little bit of stone, so I'll just put it on top of that. That's about 40 yards out. See if we get on with this one. Looks like my cousin Jonathan might have a fish. Uh, yeah. See who's got here. No, he's milking it, he's got a bit of weed. 
Right, just move, move my baits about again. I've just put three or four lug worm on each hook. And I've chucked one out straight out in front of me, which is towards the uh, two blue posts there in front. And then I've chucked my right hand rod out. Again, as far out as I'll get it, but I've chucked it closer to the, to the G. So, up along there. Uh, loads of lug worm on each other, so I've got plenty of lug worm with me. Might as well just bait heavy and see if, it, see if we can produce a fish. Right, still no joy. It's about half past ten now. I've got about an hour before I walk one. Uh, what I've done is I've swapped over the rigs. I've got a little bit bigger hook. I've only stepped it up to a size two, but clipped down rig this time just to get a little bit more distance in this wind. Uh, also, what I'm doing is I've swapped over to really big baits. So I'll just show you a couple of baits I've got. What I'm doing is I'm preparing baiting needles. So you can see like, there's four lug worm on each needle. And that's, each one of them is gonna go on each snood. So that, that's, for, that's for one rod, all them, all them baits. So I'll prep them up, make them up ready. So when I reel in, I can get them straight on. I'm not double patting today. I couldn't be bothered to get out and have a rig, but normally I'd have a third rig set up. Just constantly baiting, changing over. But as soon as I finished work this morning, and it's been nearly 24 hours without any sleep, uh, I'm not really feeling it. But right, I reel these rods in, get some fresh baits on. I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, there's that trace baited up. As you can see, nice, juicy, big baits. Yeah, nice juicy big baits. You see if there's any bass out there or anything like that. Let's face it, there's not much else, so I might as well try now. That wind ain't letting up at all. When we last cast now, still no fish. Got a few worms, I just bug everything I've got on. Uh, see how we get on. Right, but that's that trip all done. Yeah, it ended up with nothing, yeah, it was so blowy, but I'd get give it a try. Definitely give it another go. I think I'll wait till the weather gets a bit better. A few more summer species, because there, there ain't a lot about them, I'm always there, you get a, might catch a few flounder. That's it around the Thames, it's a bit slow at the minute. So, I'll give it another couple of months, and then I'll do some soul about bass, eels. Yeah, come back and give it a go, another go then. Alright, we'll catch you all soon.